Welcome to watch the CAGD store video series for cleaning the kitchen. First, we will talk about how to wash dishes in a practical and quick way. Washing utensils is a relaxing thing, because you use water, and water renews the soul and makes the soul happy. First, daily washing steps. Always, if you enter the kitchen, look at the scattered things, and start arranging them by returning them to their place, and collect the utensils in the sink, so that it is easy for you to work, and things are clear to you. Before you start washing, wear rubber gloves to protect your hands from the soap. Put the amount of 1 tablespoon of soap to the amount of 2 cups of water in the cleaning tray, and stir it by pressing the sponge until a foam forms. Gather all your utensils near you in the sink to make it easier to sort and wash them quickly. Before washing, dispose of leftover food in a food bag to be given to animals. Don't throw dirty food in the trash. Open the water on the utensils so that they get wet and make it easier to wash them. Divide the utensils so that everything is the same, spoons with spoons, cups with mugs, plates with plates, etc. Easier to wash. Easier after drying them to put them back in the same place in the cupboard. After dividing, start washing the utensils that do not have a smell, such as cups of water, tea and coffee. Wash the dishes quietly without cracking or scratching. Then wash the spoons, forks and knives three times from the top after eating, and from the bottom where the stained hand handle is, before you start cleaning the large dishes, you will feel that you have finished a large number. The inside and outside of the pot should be washed, the edges, the bottom and the handle. Make sure that there are no stains or color everywhere, especially in the edges and difficult places. The big and greasy utensils are washed last, after soaking them in water a little while washing the rest of the dishes, so that they are easy to clean. Because if you wash them first while they are full of fat and then wash the cups, the smell of the cup will become zen, and the previous dishes will get dirty with its smell. So it is the last thing to be done wash it because it smells strong and needs a longer cleaning. You can leave the right side for the dishes that have been washed with soap, so dirty dishes don't get mixed up, and it is easy for you to wash them with water after that. And you will be fast and accomplished. The dishes should be washed well with water so that they are free of soap and food smells. If smells stick to the dishes, this indicates that you have not cleaned them well. The dish should be washed for a little while under water, in order to get rid of the smell, and not to be quick without professionalism. If you smell the smell of the cup and there was no smell, this is proof that you are a professional. If there is burning of food sticking to the pot, you can put a little concentrated soap, and rub it well easily with the brush intended for dishes only, from all sides under water. And get rid of the water a little to make sure that it has been cleaned well, and wash it again and from the edges and any place where it may get stuck food, it is easy to clean. But if the burn is sticking to the pot and some time has passed on it, you can put two glasses of water and leave it to boil for five minutes. You will find that the burn has been removed from the pot and you can now clean it like the previous video with a brush. 
Clean dishes that you have finished washing should be placed directly on the drying rack, so that the dishes get rid of excess water, and it is easier to dry them with a towel later. After you have finished washing all the dishes and making sure that there is no dirty pot in the kitchen or dining table, wash the washing pot after you are done to get rid of odors. The sponge must be thoroughly washed from food, odors, and food colors, squeezed to get rid of the water, and allowed to dry in its usual place. After you finish washing dishes at the end of the day, wash the sink well and pay attention that there are no food residues, so as not to smell bad, make the kitchen smell clean and fresh. Wash your hands well with hand soap and make sure that there is no food smell stuck to your nails, as this makes you clean. Wipe the dishes thoroughly with a clean, dry towel to get rid of any moisture. Put the utensils back in the kitchen cupboard neatly and quietly, without breaking them. Spoons and knives must be arranged in an orderly manner, not randomly and thrown in the drawer, taking into account that they are dried well, so that they do not show signs of water stains. Arrange the cups carefully so as not to break them, and make them upside down, so that dust does not enter them. Close the cupboard well after you finish arranging. Finally, make sure that the handle of the cabinet is clean, without traces of eating or stains, as this particular place shows your concern and cleanliness. After everything is done, clean the place, wipe off the traces of water, and sterilize it from any traces of food. A yellow towel should be allocated to wipe the surface, and it should not be used for anything else. Disinfectants must be used with it. Ask the madam. What type of disinfectant would you prefer to use? Hang up your washcloths to dry, ready to use tomorrow. Mistakes, be careful not to make them. Don't put spoons or forks inside the cup, as this movement makes the smell of food stick to the cup, and it becomes very smelly despite cleaning it with soap. And don't leave the water open without having to use it. Don't soak the dishes together in one place immersed in water, especially the cups as this makes the kitchen smell damp and unpleasant. The wooden part of the knife should not be soaked, so as not to be affected and damaged. When needed, soak the metal part only, meaning put only a little water enough for soaking. Don't recklessly pull spoons from under a glass container, as it may break and make disturbing sounds. The utensils must be arranged when placed in the wash basin, so that the spoons are together on the side of the basin, the dishes are on top of each other, the cups and so on. Don't waste water and leave it open strongly all the time. Water is a blessing that must be preserved so that it lasts with you. Don't use a cleaning wire for plastic utensils, as it will scratch them and then it will be difficult to clean them every time, because food will stick to the scratched place. When food is stuck inside the plate, do not try to forcefully remove it, as it will scratch the plate, just soak it in water until you finish washing the dishes. And you will find that it loosened easily. Don't tea pour leftover oil and grease into the sink. It must be poured into a plastic bag, 
and tied well so that it does not leak, then put it in the trash bag. The parts of the pot must be washed separately, well with soap, one by one, in order to get rid of the smell of food. Don't hold the spoon from above, neither when arranging it nor when serving and placing it on the table. It should always be clean and not touched with hands. Hold it where the hand is holding it. Don't put the utensils in the cabinet when they are wet and completely dry them, which will cause an unpleasant smell of moisture, and water stains will appear on them which will show your unprofessional work. Water is a blessing. Preserve it so as not to be deprived of it. Make sure the dining table and chairs are clean and under. Useful tips. Always put leftover lemons in your wash bowl with soap. They are great for removing color from tea and coffee cups. Immediately dry the silverware from the water with a linen or coarse cotton towel, so as not to leave annoying water spots on it. It is preferable to wash the pot directly, or soak it with water immediately after emptying the food, because if the food inside it cools, it sticks to it, and it takes longer to clean it. And it must be taken into account that the leftovers of food must be removed and the food should not be poured into the sink so that it does not emit a stinky smell. When you get used to cleaning utensils with these simple but important steps, the cleaning process will be fast, accurate and fun. Thanks for watching. Kagged Store